You think you're going to defend your title? No. No, no chance. <laughs> Honestly, you should have won last time. Yeah, I need revenge on uh, Soretsky. When was the last time you've seen Miracle, Goon, or Mighty Ducks, or any of them? Uh, I just watched Goon, but then Miracle and Mighty Ducks I haven't seen in years. Okay. Actually, no, I've watched Goon, like, probably last year, but any other ones, like, at least been five five or six years. Uh, I saw a slap shot. Is slap shot one of them? No. Oh. <laughs> I saw that, like, two weeks ago. I think I watched Goon, like, a few years ago, but that's probably the last time. It's a guessing game for sure. Out of these three movies, which ones have you seen? I've seen just Goon. Uh, two and a half. Coach Herb Brooks is played by what American actor? Oh, I don't know. Pass. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, I can't even guess. Next question, please. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Right, it was Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell. Question two is Goon. What number did Doug Glatt wear during his career? <laughs> he wore 69. Uh, 69. 69. The best number in the world, 69. Uh, Doug Glatt wore number 69. <laughs> number 69. Uh, bonus points if you can tell me why. Because his friend in the stands <laughs> told him it was funny. Yeah. What number do you want to wear? 69! Take the number 69! It's hilarious! All right, Mighty Ducks, question three. You got a 50-50 shot at this one because it's true or false. Oh, yeah. And the true or false is Ryan Reynolds auditioned for the role of Charlie Conway, <laughs> but his parents would not let him do the movie. Well, believe it or not, watching the movie didn't tell me that. Uh, true. I'm gonna say true. Yeah, sure, I'll give it true. It's not. False. False? I'm gonna say f false? False? It's false. Nice, there we go, that's but two. But what I will say, that story's true, except it was Jake Gyllenhaal's parents who wouldn't let him do the movie. Okay. So question four, we're back to Miracle. And again, it's true or false. Yeah. For the scene in which players are bag skated following their tie against Norway, the actors were actually bag skated for hours at a time to make the scene as realistic as possible. True. 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 I'm going to say true again. True. That is true. It's true. Yeah. yeah. And shout out to Charlie for telling me that one last. <laughs> <laughs> when did he tell me that? Like, Whenever the heck he watched Miracle, he was like, this scene is so realistic. Yeah. And yeah, so. Yeah, it was three 12 hour days they made him do that. He didn't tell me that. <laughs> the actors were hockey players. It's easier to teach hockey players how to act than actors how to skate. Hey. All right, question five, Goon. Name an NHL player who made a cameo during that movie. I have no clue. I have no clue. No, I don't know. Sean Avery. I feel like, like Sean Avery. George LaRock? Yeah, it's the first person to get that. I'm so happy. Wow. <laughs> Finally, yeah, George. Hey, do you want to go? Yeah, okay. Good luck, dude. George LaRock, he fights both Ro uh, Ross Rea and Doug Glatt. Yeah. And then Tim Thomas, at one point, is <laughs> walking behind Rea for no reason. Doesn't have any lines. He's there for two seconds. And Mike Ricky skates around with the Highlanders during a game. Question six, back to Mighty Ducks. What number does Gordon Bombay wear during the opening scene in the movie where he misses the penalty shot? Because his, his Ducks jersey is 66. 35. 13. 20. I'm going to have to take a wild guess at this. Uh, 12. Let's go with my number, 20. Nine. All right, question seven. We're back to Miracle. In which British Columbia rink was the game between the U.S. and the Soviet Union filmed? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Rogers Arena. Pacific Coliseum. Was it in the Canucks rink? The Peony Agrodome. That's just some, that's some cool Vancouver history that you yeah. just need to know. This is the last goon question. Wow, so the last one I have a chance on. Well, <laughs> we'll see if you have a chance on it or not. Okay, question eight. Ross Rea 
slashes a player in the head, earning him a 20-game suspension. And in his post-game press conference, Raya tearfully apologizes for the incident. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I can't... Both the slash itself and the apology are references to two different actual NHL events. And you just need to give me one of the events that the movie's referencing. Crying in a press conference sounds pretty Gretzky-ish. <laughs> but he didn't apologize for anything. I promised Mess I wouldn't do this. Okay, I'm... The, the first name that comes to mind is Rafi Torres. I have no clue. My guess is going to be Sean Avery. Was it where um, he punches, I don't know who it was, but he punched the guy like in the back of the head and like paralyzed him? Uh, Todd Bertuzzi. Uh, Bertuzzi punching him in the back of the head. All right, question nine is on the Mighty Ducks. All right. It's a tough one. Name both NHL players who spoke to Gordon Bombay after the Ducks watched the NHL game between the Stars and the Whalers. Next question, please. Gordy Howe? Was it Gordy Howe is one? One of my guesses is going to be Mike Medano. Mike Medano? And... I don't know. Uh, Medano and Basil. Basil McRae. And Mike Medano. I know that one because when I saw... Uh, when I watched the movie, I was, I was so focused. And I remember watching it. I'm like, man, who is that guy? I had to Google it, and I'm like, oh, that's Mike Medano. I, I knew Basil McRae. I didn't know Mike Medano. <laughs> so I have three questions here, one from Miracle, one from Goon, and one from Mighty Ducks. You don't get to hear what the questions are, but you okay. have to pick which one you want to hear and I'll answer. I'll pick the Goon one. Ducks. Do you want to do the Ducks question? Ducks. After Doug Glatt's fight with Ross Rea, the Highlanders are inspired to turn the game around for a comeback win. Xavier Laflamme scores a natural hat-trick in the third period. I don't know if you know, or if you just need to guess, how much time was left in the third when Laflamme scored the game winner. Oh, this one's tough. This is so in-depth. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. 30 seconds? Like a minute 30 left? I'm gonna guess a buzzer beater. 0 0.1 seconds? No. I'm gonna say... 30 seconds left. 0 0.2? It was close. It was, it was minute 21. Oh, minute 21. Yeah. What does Gordon Bombay's license plate read? Why, why would anyone look at that? He's a lawyer. He's also a hockey fan. Now here's the long and the short of it. I hate hockey. I hate hockey. I hate hockey. Say like sue me. What's just win? Oh, okay. yeah, I didn't. I didn't have it. Oh, well, I don't know. Pass. I have no clue. <laughs> I, have no clue. I don't know. Next question, please. I have no clue. I have no clue. No, I don't know. I have no clue. Yeah, next question, please. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know.